Hi, my name is Johnston Blakely with Investigative Training with another surveillance co-pilot tip. Oh, the dreaded gated communities, they can present a problem, especially when you either cannot get inside the gated community, although often gated communities you can get invited in somehow and uh, set up, but this gated community, even if I got inside, there's no setup on the subject's small street. This is the entrance to the community only one entrance it's guarded these are the tennis courts the client provided me information that the subject plays tennis there's also a swimming pool and a court here for basketball the subject lives over here second house in on this little street so basically everybody on the street would know everybody else on the street no vacant houses no place to set up how did I handle this situation? Well, I got this aerial shot and I scrutinized. It's very important to scrutinize your setup before you do surveillance with a, an aerial shot. This is the street here. Uh, this is the house, driveway, garage. I set up right over here. And since my vehicle is fairly high, I could see over this low hedge course on my vehicle I put cones in the back and front put utility signs on and I was able to see right into the garage as the garage door opened the garage door opened I could see both vehicles husband and wife's vehicles in the garage when the subject exited the garage on foot she had a tennis racket and she walked southward along her street and over to these tennis courts. Now it did take a little while. I probably missed the first, uh, I would say, 10, 12 minutes of her tennis match because I had to try to find out what court she was playing. Good thing she was in these two courts and also these two courts. The back of, the, of each court has a high screened in area. It's kind of difficult to film into. The sides were very low. In fact, the outside here is. Uh, was probably less than four feet high. So where did I position myself? Position myself right over here on the outside. This is about a five foot cement wall. There was a utility box here that uh, was a little over five feet. Took my bean bag. I use a bean bag for a lot of stuff. It gets you the correct tilt on your camera very quick. Quickly put my camera on the bean bag set up with my cones and my signs on my vehicle and uh, filmed over the wall into the second tennis court where she was playing. I uh, zoomed in uh, enough on each side from the net to the back. When she switched sides, I filmed the other side. So when she was done playing, she went uh, back to her residence However, I did not take that same surveillance position that I did in the morning. I maintained the surveillance position I had at the tennis courts. Why? Because it was ready to go for the exit. I figured any activity, outside activity, that the subject would be doing from that point on in the day, since it looked like the type of community where they probably had their lawns cut, manicure, and everything done for them, I would only get filmed when she left. And sure enough, she did leave and I got filmed. The reason I sat on this side of the street, the same side of the street as the exit, as opposed to down south on the opposite side of the street and looking across diagonally, is because it's very distracting looking across traffic. Um, it's not much room for forgiveness if there's a lot of cars. If you're on the same side of the street, it's a much easier line of sight. So, she left, she went north, before she even turned left, I got out. I got into motion on the main street here, and uh, being in motion when the subject goes by you is always much, much better than being stationary, where she would turn her head and look and see me sitting right there, and uh, followed her around the rest of the day. Got film at several uh, shopping plazas. So there you have it. There is how to handle one way how to handle a tough gated community. Sometimes you do not have to enter to get good film 
inside of a gated community. I'm Johnston Blakely for investigative training with this surveillance co-pilot tip. Check us out at www.investigativetraining.org.